With seven locations, LA Medical offers a network with the best in primary care, podiatric services, and state-of-the-art med spa services. Our new Wellington location, your medical home for internal medicine and family practice, is opening soon. Call 561-433-5577 today or go to mylamed.com to request an appointment. Riverbridge Dentistry has been in business for over 40 years and specializes in general, cosmetic, and family dentistry. We are here to help you with not just 100% dental care, but 125% excellent care. Achieve the smile of your dreams with the most pleasant and comfortable experience possible. Call 561-966-3531 today. Hi, I'm Roxanne Stein with AroundWellington.com, and I want you to meet two special guests today, George Kinoshta and Michelle Garvey, probably a familiar face to many of you. George served 28 years in the military and is an active member with the Wellington Rotary. Michelle is a familiar face to many of you because she is the Assistant Director of Community Events for the Village. And that's what they're joining us here today to discuss a great community event that's perhaps a little bit unusual as well. It's the first annual Wellington Rotary Ruck March and a very important food drive. They're combining forces to do both. So welcome to both of you. George, for those who aren't familiar, what is a traditional Ruck March? I know this one's gonna be a little bit different, but it's also gonna be one of a kind. Yes, it is. Ruck marching has its roots in the military. And so in my army days, for example, we would take our rucksack or backpack, load it with our equipment, and start hiking. The objective was, this was a physical fitness, endurance type of event. The object was just to cross the finish line, going from point A to point B. It was also used as a team building, morale building tool. From the military portion of it, ruck marching has gained immense popularity throughout the country and throughout the world. And you will see more and more actual ruck marching events held throughout the United States and the world. Now you say this is a little different. You've told me that it's a bit different from the traditional ruck march. How yes. is this gonna be a bit different? We're asking our ruck marchers to bring non-perishable food items instead of loading their backpacks with equipment. So for the weight that you need to ruck march, put in canned goods, flour, sugar, cereals. Oh, geez, that sounds tough. <laughs> yes, it can be, depending on how much weight you wish to carry. Now, our objective, though, we have a two-kilometer mapped out course and a five-kilometer mapped out course. For purposes of competition, some people like to compete. Our event is unique in that you just don't go from point A to point B. If you register for this event, you will receive a race bib and an electronic timing chip. This event will time your ruck march. Well, this is serious stuff. It can be. But it sounds like fun. It's intended to be fun because we're not asking that you to register if you don't wish to. If you want to make this a fun hike, please do that. If you wish to compete, we're offering that for you. And we have trophies and awards for those who wish to compete. Okay, so let's get to Michelle about the food drive. I think this is really very interesting how you combine forces that you thought, let's let's make it part of a food drive. I mean, how that's terrific. And I'm this is great for the village, isn't it, Michelle? Very much so. Um, we've noticed mainly since COVID that we haven't had many food donations. You know, we always put the bins out at our different locations, Village Park, um, the community center, um, we do it at, right now. We're collecting at our Lakeside Market at the amphitheater, but not a lot of people are donating, whether it slips their mind or it's just not, it's just something that kind of went away during the COVID times. So when George came to us about, hey, you know, let's combine our efforts, let's see if, um, you know, we can donate this food to the food drive, I was ecstatic because that's something we struggle with every year. So I think it's, it's a great partnership. So what do you want? participants in the Ruck March to stuff those backpacks with? So canned goods, traditional Thanksgiving Day items, cranberry sauce, gravy, um, green beans, um, yams, those are the normally what we um, put. It. So not only 
do people that sign up um, through our Eventbrite to receive the food items, they get a, a frozen turkey, but they also get a bag of traditional Thanksgiving Day items. Um, Box-wise, it's mashed potatoes, um, also some gravy packets if they don't want to do the canned gravy, um, cornbread mix, um, packaged stuffing, you know, the traditional canned Thanksgiving. Canned cranberry sauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything. And if you don't have that, you'll take any donation. We will take anything because we always put a little extra in each bag. Yeah, a mac and cheese goes a long way. Um, sauce with and spaghetti um, noodles. I, it, families appreciate anything that we can give them. You know, people I found in my experience say, oh, Wellington, there's no need in Wellington. My goodness, all these expensive horse farms and horses and nice homes. There really is a need, isn't there? There is. Um, each year, uh, it unfortunately, gets a little bit larger. Um, we do have rental units. We do have families that want their children to go to school in Wellington, and, and maybe, you know, they're not part of the equestrian community. Um, so uh, any food that we collect stays in Wellington. You know, I've always said it takes a village. We've heard, all, all of us have heard that, but we are a village, and it takes our village to make everybody successful. And we work well when we put the word out, mm -hmm. we need to get together as a village. So that's, I, I just, you're doing it by combining these two of the, what great events. This sounds really interesting. So, okay, back to the Ruck March. When is it? Where is it? Where do people sign up? Sunday, 10 November. This is through the uh, Veterans Day weekend. So we're actually doing this as a, a veterans themed event also. At the it's at the Village Sports Park off of Pearson Road, right next door to where we are right now. Mm -hmm. When I say it's military themed, it just so happened that ten November is also the two hundred and forty ninth birthday of the United States Marine Corps. So we have the fourth Anglico Marines from West Palm Beach are going to provide a color guard. We're going to have birthday cakes. They will perform a Marine Corps birthday celebration on the mobile stage. So that will be a very key part of our of our event on that Sunday. That sounds really cool. What time does all of this get underway and where do you register? The event will start at 9 a.m. You can register via our advertisements through a QR code, and you can also go to a... Would it be Wellington Rotary, too? Yes, you can go to our Wellington, Ro Wellington Rotary site, and you'll find the information. And I want to emphasize, though, registration means that you wish to compete. In order to compete, we have to charge a nominal fee because we're paying a professional race company to yes. manage the mm -hmm. competition. But we're not requiring you to register and, and pay us any money we really do wish to have your participation in any form that you can do it and we really wish for you to bring the non-perishable food items so that's a really i mean this really is a team effort that you just want folks to come out with with canned goods and then do the ruck march let's yes. move on because we're running out of time it's so quickly when we get into a great conversation i i know that you've served nearly three decades in the service which amazes me why you'd still want to do a ruck march but <laughs> but it stayed with you and you want to do it so i think that's cool and you were in the army but where did you serve like wh where where did your travels take you in the army well first i was an army brat my dad served 30 years in the army so i lived half my life overseas but on active duty, I went back to places like uh, Germany, yeah. Saudi Arabia, Iraq, all over the United States of America. And thoroughly looking back, I, I had a great career and enjoyed it. And I know your dad, uh, you mentioned you're an army, army brat, let's just, or a military brat, let's circle back. Your father has a real interesting history. Share that real quickly because we're rapidly running out of time. He was a high school student in Bakersfield, California, where he was born and raised. And when World War II broke out, the Japanese Americans were interned into prison camps. My dad and all of our family ended up in Arizona. Shortly after he came out of the prison camp, he was drafted. He found that the Army life was good to him. He, he enjoyed it. And he ended up staying for 30 years. A true patriot. Well... The Army was good to him, it was good to our family, and it just seemed that 
a natural thing for me to do was try it myself, which I did. I, I literally followed in his footsteps. Like father, like son, you're a true patriot too. But thank you both for your service. Thank you. One more circle around with the Ruck March. Real quickly, Michelle, you want everyone to bring food, food donate items for okay. Thanksgiving. Anything is great. If you don't have anything on hand that's Thanksgiving related, you can do spaghetti, sauce. Mac and cheese, um, beans, anything sustainable. And we just ask that it's not expired. But we need your help to collect these items for our village. And once again, very quickly, the who, what, when, where, where and what. The Ruck March is when, George, do you know? 10 November, Sunday. And by the way, it's a partnership. We will have the Wellington High School Interact Club heavily, heavily involved with us, along with the Wellington Rotary Club and Michelle right. and the village. Well, it's going so. to be a wonderful village event, starting because of this partnership. We are out of time. I hope it's the best event. It sounds like a challenge. It sounds like a lot of fun. And I think the turnout's going to be terrific. It's at Village Park, mm -hmm. starting registration, starting at 9. 9 o'clock. Okay. Thank you both for this information. And let's all of us get together and make it a very happy holiday, a Thanksgiving dinner for everybody. I'm Roxanne Stein. Thanks for joining us for this edition of AroundWellington.com. And thank you, Michelle and George. Thank you. Thank you.